So let's continue with our lesson and today we'll be learning about the methods on a form. So each form has uh, some standard method that we can override. And so let's go and see how we can do that. So first of all, I'll create a new project over here and I will call it, uh, let us give a name for this form. So let me go to property and I'll just say as a project name, we'll call it as a form form and table form and table methods that should be okay and let's open it and inside this let us create some group so i will create a group for one should be for our tables we also need the tables before we can make use of a form so this is tables and we need another group and this group should be for our forms and that's it so we have forms and a table. So let us create a table first. Go to the new and let's select a table. And let me create a table over here. And let's give a table name as a jet uh, E-M-P-L-O-Y-E employee. So let's have a jet employee, reset everything. Okay. And let's give a label. So we'll say E-M-P-L-O-Y-E employee. And that should be okay. So if you are actually doing for uh, in the real environment, uh, then you should always create a label. But for now, just for our demo purpose, I'm just hard coding the label over here. And let me save this one. And I think I need to restart my server. Okay, what I will do is first of all, I will go to the fields over here. And let me create a few fields and I'll just say string and uh, let me create a string field of let's say of an employee id e m p l o y e i d and also i will give a label just copy and paste it on the label side over here here label and also on the help text so make sure if you are doing the actual environment you should always have a label for label create a label for all of your field uh, this one then just hard code it over here. That's another good practice. So let me create another one and I'll just call it one more and I will call it as a employee. Let me call it e -M -P -L -O -Y -E, employee name and let me copy and put it to the label over here and also to the help text. So this we set on the help text uh, label and in the help text let me separate via space over here and that should be fine so next is we have two okay let me create one more and i'll just add as a date first okay let me clear it out and for let me i'll say as an employee date of birth so dop and i'll just okay let me say in the label as a date of birth and let me copy this to down to the help text over here so that's we have a table already let me save everything and what i will do is i will just go to the forms over here and create a new form and we have a form and i'll just call it as a jet employee the form we should always give a same name or something similarity uh, let's say jet employee F O R M form and let's say it and let's go to the data source and for the data source we need a table so I'll just copy uh, drag this uh, table up to this data source so data source set employee that should be fine and we have all the fields required fields just save it and the next step that we need to do is uh, let's go to the let me drag uh, arrange this one let me arrange a bit so we have a data source and let's go to the design and in the design we don't have anything let's right click and add a new control over a grid so where is a grid here so let's add a grid and inside the grid i will just add my field from my table so we have a three field let's add inside this grid just drag it and for the form design let's go and okay we have everything let's go to the design section and i will just say as a width let me arrange the width to column width and also for the height to the 
column width and for the grid also let me set that where is the height here column width and also the height column width so that should be okay just save this one and let me open a form for now yeah so it should be okay we have a form and the next step is i think we also have uh, some width problem over here with this uh, let me set as a uh, column width and height as a uh, column width okay for this two also we need to set the same thing uh, with this uh, height and also width and the height sorry height let me select the column width okay so we have done it so save that one and let us see one of the okay let me open the form first so we have it okay we can see here if you go to the form section on the top level we have a method over here and if you go to the data source we also have a data source level method and if you go to the design and you see we have also in the grid level design level we have some method over here and even if you go to the some field over here you can see we have a method or two override if you go over here we also have a method so there are a lot of uh, way that we can override uh, some of the method so by default we'll be using on our uh, form level and uh, data source level and also on a field level so we will learn about the the methods that we can override in our form data source and a field level so first of all the first uh, let me go and override one of the method in a form level so in, in the form we have a below the form we have a methods and just right click and go to override and we will uh, you can see there are a lot of methods you can override and first of all let me go and see offer one which is uh, init so init here just override this one and you can see that we have a method over here and i will just go and say as a info and info it out that this is a init method so just we don't we don't do anything just info the information and that's it uh, so let's save this one and okay why we have an error okay we didn't close the inverted comma okay and reset that one okay now let's try to open our form okay when we open the form then we get that method so the init method is uh, open or uh, it's uh, triggered whenever we open our form so whenever form is open and it's being initialized so the form initialization is done on our init method so whenever form is initialized so first time when it is initialized the init method will be triggered over here so whenever if you want to override this method and do some uh, requirement on the init method like whenever form form is initialized you want to perform certain things like you want to initialize some variable or you want to modify the form design like right? so that one we can make use of a init method in a form level the form level init method is initialized when a form is initialized then the init method is called so initialization of a form is done on an init method just make sure you can remember that one so init method is uh, being triggered when the form is initialized so that's it for this lesson we will continue with uh, more of the method that we can override with in a form level so let's meet up in a next lecture